<laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. It's worse than, than Jerry from Parks and Rec. What Whoa. is up, everybody? The normies are back for The Office Season 6, <laughs> Episode 8, Koi Pond. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm Surge. This is Koi Keta. Uh, I'm Spidey. What up, it's me, Chris Koi Boy Johnson. Why <laughs> so Koi? Why so Koi? He's so Koi about himself. Do you guys know what a Koi Pond is? Like the sex move? No. No, what's. All right, Describe so it in vivid detail. What you want to do is you want to get a bowl of salt water. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'll he, save it for later. Lying. <laughs> a koi pond, like the little the avatar, you know, the like oh, yeah. koi fish. A little, little swirl. Hey, hey, fucked up the moon. Yeah. Hey, UA. UA. Hey, she died. You're right That's rough, buddy. And uh, the uh, Cobra Kai, they practice with the koi pond. Two people know what I'm talking about. Two people. Hey. Two people. Two people. Know. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> to y'all. Anyway. Well, in the last episode, we found out that mm, oh, Michael Scott is getting him some sweet, sweet Beasley buns. Beasley all buns. on the side. <laughs> Flipping them cake straight, flapjacking her mama down. She didn't know what it's like, and he's over there being like, mm, mm, mm. I like you so much, Pam. I'm trying to get a taste of the recipe. Okay, now I understand why it's so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching what? The Office on YouTube, we are like several weeks ahead on our Patreon. Consider joining. It's a great way to support us. A season ahead. Uh, gargantuan. So gargantuan. You would have a lot to binge. If you got nothing to do right now, check Holidays. it out. Yeah. Holidays. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Holidays, you're in your family's house doing nothing. You're bored. You don't even like that. For them. sure. And it's not a market substitute. And I hope you're having a good day. If it's a bad one, hopefully it gets better. It will, don't worry, we all have our off days. Spread some positivity your way. So let's go. Spirit bomb good energy. Hey, 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 Please. what's the opposite uh, of an office? Would you not? On ice. Nice. I'm with it, I'm there, I I'm here it. for what? it. Ice, I, I get it. Ice. <laughs> off ice, that'll suffice. I confirmed with Raskin Design and they're expecting the both of you in an hour. Oh, actually it's just gonna be me. You should give him a call, check that out. And Michael and I are actually at the same level. So, I, <laughs> no, nope, why would that be a problem? Sometimes you have to call in a master. Why would you date an amateur when you could date a professional? Great. Right. What? what does that mean? They said that they would feel more comfortable if you came along. Why do they want me to come too? I don't understand. Michael, stop. I don't want you to feel like I'm babysitting you or something. He loves it. Let me go get your stroller. <laughs> <laughs> What you are wearing. Yes, it is. That it's is the same thing he wears every. What? No. What's the it difference between you and him? You wear this watch. I will loan it to you. They are into style. Mm -hmm. We are selling success. And paper. That's sort of secondary. I would honestly take take his advice He's on this. He's giving amazing I'm advice right now. Making cold calls. Oh, the two people the with thing. the lowest sales in the quarter have to do them. <clears throat> Dean Trophy Sweet 100 and doodly doo. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> 401. Yeah, I was gonna sing that part. I know, now you don't have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was gonna resolve the melody, so it feels like I held in a sneeze. Just sing the rest of it now. Oh my god. Sweet 401. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Why is he wet? You're soaking wet. Jim and I got caught in a little flash. Rain. Why is Jim dry? Why isn't Jim wet? I outran it. What yeah. happened? We're kind of a dynamic duo <laughs> or trio. You guys know the sex yet? We're not together. Definitely not. No. <laughs> we just work together. It's like somebody's got a case of the definite ways. <laughs> Why are you so offended? Oh. Michael, the, the custodian happened? from Raskin Design is on the line. He said they found your keys in the koi pond. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Did you say koi pond? <laughs> yeah. Michael, people are asking questions. <laughs> She's surrounded. Jen, did Michael fall into a koi pond? It's like Michael said, it was um, something else. It was, okay, this is what it was. A bunch of idiots that had put a fish tank in the ground and no railing. So you fell in. That is hilarious. No, it don't. <laughs> it was very, very terrifying. <laughs> we are a family business. It's nice to see that you are too. 
Oh, no. Just go with it. Just go with it. <laughs> oh, definitely not. I date models. We also have a special one on Pam's Pam's carrying our surrogate. My girlfriend needed to keep her figure for fashion week. You didn't have to keep going. You were way meaner to me than I was to you. No, I wasn't. <laughs> you blew the sale, you idiot. I was never going to make that sale. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like he was kind of down. Uh, David Wallace called. He heard you made a big splash at the meeting. Oh my God, that was so mean what I just said. And I didn't mean it. It was Kevin and Meredith put me up to it. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Oh my God. <laughs> you just ignore their carpet. <laughs> Did you find Nemo? I can name Pixar movies too. <laughs> Toy Story. Don't you mean Koi Story? <laughs> hey, Michael. No, no, no more. <laughs> <laughs> Not the cover. I'm usually the butt of the joke. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. I'm what? usually the face of the no. joke. I think okay. every time you're the butt. I wish Jim had fallen into that pond. Then he'd have to put on my suit, and it would be too short. He'd still look good. <laughs> <laughs> The most fundamental thing about sensitivity training. Oh my god. You can only make fun of things that they have control over. What? Like Oscar is gay. That mm. is his choice. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, you still can't make fun of people for race or gender or sexual orientation. You are a waste of life and you should give up. God <laughs> damn! <laughs> it's worse than, than Jerry from Parks and Rec. Who here Zero. has been the butt of a joke that has gone too far? You make fun of us every day. Never said anything. Uh, we have countless times. We are going to make a do <laughs> oh, not God. mock list, okay? okay. You know, I bet actually HR representatives have this. On, anything you put on this list, you cannot be teased about. Koi pond. Let's see. Okay. I also have fallen into the fountain at the Steamtown Mall. How? Fell into a second fountain. <laughs> Can you kick me out of the meeting now? <laughs> Where he's like he's bright red. Smiling. <laughs> I don't want people making fun of my nose. It's too small. The geometric proportions of my face are perfect in every way but one. Uh, okay. Oh my, that is small. <laughs> Just write it down, please. Michael's not actually good dry erase board handwriting. My weight. I knew it. I knew that was coming. It's too broad. Uh, it's got to be something else. What? How about your stomach? <sighs> yeah. Who else? Huge I'm very sensitive gut. about my petite figure. Skinny oh bitch. I'm kidding. Meredith? I don't want to say it out loud. Here, write it yourself, and don't sign your name to it, and nobody look. It's it's a list. It's a terrorist! Sex with a terrorist. Okay. Some of you may have... What? But Kelly. Oh. That's still going on? I will claw your tiny nose That's off. still going it's on? on the list. Well, you two are quite the salesman and a very cute couple. Just go with that. Come on. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank Some you. couples don't seem like a good match. She could have made three times the sales just going with this. And a baby on the way? Mm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In fact, we spent the whole weekend uh, researching various birthing coaches. Why do you go? What is he doing? Oh, Too far. Teacher. Why do you go Her this far? Janet. Yeah, on Clearview Avenue. Yeah. What the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he really know this? He really knows? The custodian called again. Apparently a koi has died. <gasps> they want you to pay for it. Mm. Oh, no, it's gonna be four numbers. Well, he said you stepped on its head. <laughs> he did not suffer. <laughs> when is the funeral? How much do they want? Three hundred dollars. What? Mm. I could get a fish for a five cent worm. Who's your worm guy? <laughs> How? Again. Creed just know, has a worm guy. No, He's got a fake ID guy. I just wish I had a special telephone so I could find Please out stop. exactly what the little soybean stop it. wants. Stop right? it. it. I felt a kick. <laughs> It's great. It's like he's trying to say, I love you too, daddy. What are you doing, Eddie? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Message received, little soybean. What are you doing? <laughs> Maybe if you make fun of yourself, it'll all go away. I want to make fun of you right now. Do it. I am a big, stupid goofball. You're not, you're not stupid. Oh my God. Hey, Self-deprecation. There you go. He's learning it. I should wear a snorkel to the next business meeting that I go to. It's not all your fault. I mean, who puts a koi pond in a lobby? But I've been there before. Stop it now. You're embarrassing yourself. It's actually not the first time I've been embarrassed by a pond. In high school, the girls' volleyball team always used to throw me into the frozen lake. Uh, what the fuck? Ago. What? Oh, oh, no. 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 Oh. Uh, Stop it. It's getting sad. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
your cell phone. And I wanted one of those packages where you have the five, you know, the friends. The guy was like, we're your five friends. I didn't even know. Uh, oh, uh, whoa. I don't even have so a shy. Oh cell my God. Number, and I hate her. Stop. I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm a loser. Oh, stop. <laughs> God. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for the advice. Don't you told you to you did not understand the instructions. Oh, God. Hey, who wants to watch Michael's what? pond dive? Is that her snack? Is that her lunch? My roommate's friend is the night janitor over there. You know what? Maybe we should go easy on Michael, guys. Jim fell in the koi pond. They switched outfits. That's why he was like, never but mind. But he had wet hair, too. But something happened. Jim had a hand in it. It was our first maybe. Going by the Nard Dog curve, I'd say we nailed it. I could have done without the belly kiss. In that moment, I knew I was kissing her belly too much. Yeah, way too much. Why were you kissing her belly? I just got caught up in the fantasy. Did he almost have a kid one time? Because I think he just watched one so bad. I don't know. It was fun to role play, right? So sick of being single. What do you think of Aaron? She's kind of cool. You don't have to date people at the office. Dating the secretary yeah, worked for Jim. Is this a tape of me falling? We're not watching it. No, it's okay. Watch it. No. I am a grown up, Jim. It's no. on. Oh, 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 oh. Did you see that? He Jim, tripped him. Let Michael fall in. Play it again. Oh. What? I purposefully a... leaned away and let you fall. Wait, what? I think when I started to see you go in, I, I think I just froze. I don't think you froze. <laughs> It looked like he tripped him, but he just, he moved. He just let him, he could have stopped it. Yeah. Would you like to talk? But I mean, like, how, how are you going to catch him, you know? He's a gr full-ass grown man. I'm sorry. Look. Oh! I mean, I may never be as good a salesman as you are, but I at least need the chance to do the job. Jim is jealous of me. Jim is jealous of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he got from that. Yeah. Hey, what's up, lifeguard? Jim, I think I'm in your way. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Thanks, Michael. You're welcome. Whoa! Almost fell. Hey, there you go. Yeah, everyone's moved on. He let him fall hey, subconsciously. Did you make any sales? And no. It was fun, though. I got to spend the day with Andy Bernard. He's like the coolest person I've ever met. He's like Marlon Brando. Oh, do you mean Marlon Wayans? <laughs> Sure. I actually do mean Marlon Wayans. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Might have a win oh. for old Andy. Oh my God! The next episode. I don't know. Those jackets come. This ain't even a jacket. It's a I shirt. I don't. I don't. I don't want to see the next episode. I don't want to see. The next oh, I'm not ready for this. I feel like this show gives me fucking. Oh. You know, right when you're um when you're dying out in the cold, right before you die, you get really hot, so you take all your clothes off and dig a hole. Huh? Yeah, this is a thing. Yeah, I've never is. died out in the cold. Oh, yeah. well, right before you die out in the cold of like hypothermia, you feel really hot. Like it's called like terminal burrowing. It's a thing people do before they die in the snow. So if you find yourself in the snow getting naked, you're about to die. That is some shit we need to look into. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, you won't think about it. Yeah, you, you, your brain's already gone. Yeah. Anyway, this show makes me want to do that, but like into my own body. Like I just want to come out of my skin. It just, <laughs> I, I don't know. It makes me. I don't know what it makes me want to do, but it makes me want to do this. This motion it's here. Just, just get away from it all. Awkward. <laughs> awkward. Damn, that sucks. And you know what? I almost could have been... Well, no. He clearly... <laughs> Bro, he, he, he could have saved him. Yeah. Jim's all long and shit. He could have, you know, yoinked the man. Maybe could have fell in some, some solidarity. Uh, but he said... It looks like he, one, tripped him, and two, leaned yeah. away. And it looks like even, like, the way he was walking was not giving Michael room. Yeah. To go any other <laughs> like, way. he kind of, like... <laughs> He yeah. like boxed him in. Fucking but like, you realistically, into the what was he gonna catch him? I think yeah. he could have, yeah. Hell yeah. Or if he'd have fell in trying to catch him, would have been like, ha, oh, bro, you know, like some solidarity homie shit, not just like have <laughs> you ever like be playing dodgeball and like the ball's coming at your face or something is and you just instinctually move and it hits your yeah. homie right behind you or something like that. You're like, oh. Yeah. Well that's what Jim did also when they were playing. I didn't know, that's not what happened, Kenny. That happened to you? It was a dog and it wasn't I pushed you out of the door. You pushed me towards the dog. No, I didn't. I pushed you out of the door. I pushed you out of the door. Because <laughs> I was going to say, that. what you described, Jim did that exact thing when they were playing soccer with uh, Idris Elba's character. Oh, yeah. He ducked out of the way, and Meredith got hit right in the face with yeah, fucking soccer. Nailed. <laughs> like, it's, just, it's Jim's, like, in nature, I guess. Self-preservation. I uh, I love that. So, so what's better? Jim catches Michael, and Michael's like, oh, you're a good friend. Or Jim lets him fall. 
reveals to Michael that like he wants a chance of be able to be as good a salesman as him, and Michael comes to the consensus that Jim is jealous of him. <laughs> I think I think ultimately this was Michael feels better. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. he gets to be like, oh Jim is jealous of me. I feel like they spend ninety five percent of their office time in that conference room listening yeah. to the last one was another conference room one and just like conference room like no yeah. like, why? stop yeah. going to the conference room. What are we doing? Imagine yeah. if you we killed did that. a coy. You stepped on his head. He didn't <laughs> he suffer <laughs> It was over quickly. 300 for the koi fish. Not just the koi fish yeah, swimming around minding its own fish mm-hmm. business and then getting stomped out. Bro. Why does Creed have a guy for everything? Yeah, he's got a worm guy. <laughs> worm and guy. And then there was another There was another weird item that he was like, oh, I can get you that. I got a guy for that. Yeah. <laughs> like bodies or something? Shrooms, yeah. probably. Yeah, Shrooms. Uh, I was about to say, I think it was something to do with drugs. Like, it yeah. might have been true. Oh. Yeah. Uh, this is very quick. All right, so uh, Andy being all... Uh, ridiculously sweet about this baby was kind of ridiculous. That was the, he wants it so though. bad. Like, yeah, oh, his yeah. his character has been like over the top. Like he's very emotional. He's endearing. Yeah. yeah. I think the him and Aaron uh, shipping I like it, it. it's not exactly going to be Jim and Pam, but I think it's going to it's going to be something to root for just based on, like, we want Andy to have happiness. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. of all the shit that's happened to the him. The Nard Dog. The, the, the Nard, nard Dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think you meant Marlon Wayne. Yes. Yep. Mm, yep. That's, that's sure yeah. did, Champ. Sure. Marlon Brando Why from did Apocalypse she say he's Now. Like Marlon Brando, though. She's older, I guess. Like, Apocalypse Now weird. and uh, Godfather? Godfather, yeah, yeah. And Superman. He was, he was uh, Kal El. Yeah, I'm about to say Jor El. Jor El. Yeah. Huh. I know Marlon Brando's been in other star-studded award-winning things. Nambla. Nam- I, Nambla. The North American Marlon Brando, Brando Lookalike <laughs> Association. Yeah, but also, <laughs> it's a deep cut South Park reference. That is. How did you know Nambla? I've seen that episode like four times for every fucking reason. Like, Dad, but, we got the wrong Nambla. <laughs> yeah. It, Nambla is a real good organization. Really? I don't know which one. Well, it's. I don't know if it's. it's... Something very similar to that. The North American Marlon Brando Look Like Association? No, there's like a real... No, because I hope there's... Nambla's not a real thing, right? It there's is. another Nambla, the North American, American. Boy Love Association. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. That's no! not real. No, that's real. real. That's not that's real. That's the one where, damn it, we got the wrong Nambla? Yeah, that's no, I thought Nambla was just a shitty joke. I thought, jo- I thought they made it up. They made up. No. no. That's real. So we've learned about terminal burrowing and North Nambla America. being real? North American Man Boy Love that's Association. That's real! No! I thought it was a South Park joke! It was so dumb, I thought they were it's making a, it up. It's it's real. I learned about this in literature class because, because uh, what's his name? Allen Ginsberg was part. He was affiliated with the Nambla. Fucking Allen yeah. Ginsberg, Obi Wan. No, 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 that's Allen. No, Allen Ginsberg, the poet. <sighs> Allen Ginsberg, this guy. Yeah, he looks that, like uh, it. Uh, are these yeah. the dudes who are like t- calling themselves the trans ageist and stuff? Yeah. That sounds like no, it. No, no. pedophilia know. advocacy. Like, hey, I can love this child. Yeah, yeah but so that, that's trans aged people. Like, as well. No, they like, just they they, they, they like, tried to I'm rebrand. Not, yeah, I'm not forty. I'm really a thirteen year old. Yeah, no, not body. here for. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> so listen. Yeah, that that <laughs> you're is fucking so, not. Well, that was fucking weird. And like when we were talking about it in school, I was just like, wait, why are we learning about these people in school? I want you to know that in the <laughs> South Park episode, that it like was they go, so outlandish. Yeah, it was so out. Yeah. I, they were like, no. oh, no, we're real. in the North American uh, Man Boy Love Association. And he was like, oh, I thought it was the Marlon Brando lookalike. And I was like, oh, that's yeah, that's, that's funny. That's I literally thought, like, that, I, yeah, I just thought it was made up. Like, my world is crumbling. They go, damn it, we got the wrong Nambla. Because they, they raid the, no. the Marlon Brando lookalike yeah. association. That's why they're raiding it. <laughs> oh, it's my real. God. It's real. Uh, well, there you go, guys. Nambla's real, and so is Terminal Burrow. Oh, now you know. Terminal and we're rooting. Boy. We're like, ultimately, I don't know how we got. Oh, Marlon Brando. We're rooting for an, the Nard dog, right? Yeah. Yeah. Him and Aaron team I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the two of them, though. I don't see them. I mean, I guess they could make a cute couple, but like, why they don't would. they look outside of the office? Oh, they definitely should. They can't. The show. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> since they can't run the show, I like that Andy is overly passionate with a lot of things, and I mm-hmm. think Amy will balance that out well. Yeah. The mm-hmm. last time they looked outside Aaron. of the show, um, Aaron, yeah. Uh, 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 Michael ended up with that uh, receptionist that he thought was a. A fucking uh, what, uh, the concierge. The concierge. And now he's with Pam's mom. <laughs> the like concierge. I was just fucking up. That one was sad. She just like yeah. he, she like left and shit. He wasn't even happy he got some. He was. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. At least he's like he is getting some. 
Michael like, gets you know, some. Yeah, yeah. He, he fucks. Well, he's doing the whole semen retention thing because he's a sigma male going his own way. I think he's doing semen it on retention? accident. I don't know. What you don't know, but oh, there's a whole other oh internet thing. We won't get into. Oh, well, no. yeah, we've we we learned enough know. things in this. Yeah, discussion. I don't yeah. Know. no, it's not. It's not like terrible. It's just stupid. And yeah, <laughs> it sounds stupid. So I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to. Well, we will see you at the next one. Bye. 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 Well, hello there, Office fans. Thank you so much for watching another episode of The Office with us. A big shout out to Anastasia, Alencia, Jack, Matthew, Taylor, and Joe Mags. We'll see you guys on the next episode of The Office.